In this video, we will learn about fractions. So let us understand what is a fraction. Fraction is a part of the whole. I'll explain this with an example. I have a pizza. This one pizza is a whole. I divided it into four equal slices and I ate one slice. So the fraction of pizza that I ate is equal to one by four. Because I ate one slice out of the four slices of pizza or a part of a whole, so fraction of the pizza I ate is equal to number of slices I ate divided by the total number of slices. Now I am showing the slice I ate as a shaded part. So the fraction is equal to number of shaded parts divided by total number of parts. Mathematically, Fractions are represented as a division statement using two numbers, one at the top and one at the bottom and a line between them. Here, number at the bottom tells us total number of equal parts or whole and we call it denominator. Number at the top tells us number of parts used and is called numerator. Now, look at the figures on your screen. Each figure represents one whole. The shaded part of the figure represents a fraction. In figure A, the shaded part is 1 by 2 or half. In figure B, shaded part is 1 by 3 or 1 third. In figure C, the shaded part is 3 by 4 or 3 fourth. Look at this now. Can you tell me which of the following figure represents 1 by 2 or half? Yes, figure C represents 1 by 2, but figure A and B do not represent 1 by 2. Can you tell me the reason? Here, the figures A and B are not divided into equal parts. Now tell me, which figure represents 2 by 3 or 2 thirds? Yes, figure A represents 2 by 3 as 2 out of 3 of its equal parts are shaded. Let us now understand representation of fractions. We can represent fractions in many different ways. First method to represent fractions is by partially shading the figures. For example, to represent 1 by 4, we will divide given figure into 4 identical parts and shade one part. Now let us see how to represent various other fractions using partially shaded figures. Here, 2 by 5 is shown by shading 2 out of 5 equal parts in figure A and 2 by 3 is shown by shading 2 equal parts in figure B. Similarly, 1 by 5 is shown in figure C and 1 by 3 in figure D. Let us learn how to find fraction of a collection. Suppose there is a collection of 12 pencils in the box and we have to take out half the number of pencils from it. How many pencils should we take out? Now, as half of a collection is same as dividing the collection into two equal parts, we will take out six pencils. Similarly, one third of a collection is same as dividing the collection into three equal parts. So, one third of 12 pencils will be four. One fourth of a collection is same as dividing the collection into four equal parts. So, one fourth of 12 pencils will be three. Now, let us see how to represent fractions using number segments. Firstly, let us take a line segment OA of one unit length. Now, to represent 3 by 4, we have divided OA into 4 equal segments. Because the total number of parts here is 4 and marked each division as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, on marking B at 3, we can say OB represents 3 by 4 of OA. 
while representing fractions the whole should be divided into equal parts always